We use oil every day and not just in transportation. Oil supports our way of life and drives our economy. However, with the use of oil, there's an inherent risk to our shared values, which is sensitive ecosystems, local businesses, health and safety, tourism and recreation, and community industries. The best scenario is to never have a spill. But in the unlikely event of an incident, industries' oil spill preparedness and response practices combat the spread of spilled oil. These practices are made up of specific processes, as well as guiding principles, stakeholder engagement and incident management. They allow the response community to appropriately plan for and respond to spills in order to minimise the impact of the spread of oil. Industry's guiding principles allow the response community to achieve a rapid, well-managed and unified response effort. Stakeholder engagement promotes communication and transparency with governments and communities before, during and after a spill. And incident management organises the response community to work together, make decisions and respond rapidly and effectively. The preparedness process allows industry to plan for potential scenarios, which enables a rapid and effective response in the event of an incident. This is a scalable process that can apply to one facility or multiple operations across a geographic region. The steps of this process include identifying events, planning scenarios, developing response strategies and provisioning resources. Training and exercises also occur throughout this process. Preparedness begins with the identification of the potential spill incidents for a specific site or region, up to and including the worst case. Responders then select the events that cover the full range of impacts and response challenges in order to develop planning scenarios based on those events. After building out the planning scenarios, Responders develop response strategies to identify how best to respond to each potential scenario. These strategies are developed using the net environmental benefit analysis, among other considerations, to identify the best choices that minimise impacts of spills on people and the environment. Once the response strategies are developed, resources are allocated using the principles of tiered preparedness and response. These principles ensure that the facilities or regions have access to the appropriate response resources by integrating regional and global capabilities into response planning. The preparedness process allows industry to identify and plan for spills of any magnitude. Industry believes that a well-prepared and well-practiced response strategy significantly increases the likelihood of an effective response operation. In the unlikely event of a spill, industry's response process mobilises resources according to a formal, pre-planned strategy and adapts the response as the spill unfolds. The steps that make up this process include initial deployment, confirming the response strategy, organising the response, cascading resources, adjusting for realities and ongoing response. When a spill occurs, the response begins with the immediate deployment of local resources and the assessment of the incident scale and impact potential. After the initial deployment, responders match the actual spill to the closest planning scenario developed during the preparedness phase. Once matched, responders will then implement the corresponding response strategy. Once the response strategy has been selected, responders provision the appropriate resources taking into account the industry standard of prudent overreaction. An incident management system is also implemented to manage response operations. The selected resources will cascade to the incident location based on the planning principles of tiered preparedness and response, as responders better understand what equipment and services are required. As resources arrive, responders will continue to counter the spill in an attempt to minimise the spread of oil mitigate impacts and protect the safety of people. Because responders cannot predict all spill conditions when planning scenarios, the response is evaluated and adjusted 
to reflect the realities of the situation. Operating conditions are one example of such realities. The ongoing response represents the continuation of efforts to an agreed upon endpoint and the transition to restoration. Industry's response process allows for rapid and effective response to an incident based on predetermined response strategies. This process also allows industry to continually evaluate and adapt the response effort in order to pursue the most effective response possible. While industry's oil spill preparedness and response practices are proven and effective, the speed of oil spill response is accelerated by proactive cooperation with governments and communities. To this end, industry asks of governments and communities to pre-approve response strategies, help overcome barriers during a response, and to leverage industry expertise as we work together. Industry has developed oil spill preparedness and response practices in order to enable the response community to appropriately plan for and rapidly respond to oil spills. These practices minimise the spread of spilled oil, as well as the resulting impacts on our shared values.